Hey everyone and welcome to this video. This time we're going to review top 5 free Gutenberg add-ons that give you access to free blogs, free templates and sometimes even free themes for Gutenberg. And we've ranked them by a number of criteria, mostly based on how much they actually add to the Gutenberg Builder, meaning the number of blogs, the number of templates or, or pre-made blog designs. And we'll look at all of these one by one, because I think the reviews of free plugins are as important as the reviews of premium plugins, because sometimes free products can be a great addition to your setup, or they can turn out to be a disaster and a waste of time. For example, the advert as features for this free plugin can only be available in the premium version of this plugin, which you have to buy, or there is a lack of consistent support and updates or there's a ton of ads prompting you to buy a premium version of this plugin. But in order to save you some time, we've prepared this list in which all of the plugins are more than decent and some of them are simply great. The four plugins we'll have a look at today are GetWith, Stackable, Gutenberg Blocks, CoBlocks and Cadence. And these five are free and are available on WordPress.org or in your plugin repository on your WordPress installation. So this is the rough outline of what we'll be talking about today and also there will be a little bonus at the end of this video. So watch it till the end if you want to learn what else we want to tell you about. And we'll jump straight ahead and start with GetWith by the developer called MotoPress. And it is claimed to be a collection of 40 plus Gutenberg blocks. The developers promise to be adding the blocks and the block templates constantly, so we might expect the updates in the future which will bring more blocks and more templates, which is great for a free plugin, which is not a thing that happens too often with free products. So there you have access to the demo tutorials in Facebook community, this is all great. And here is actually a list of the blocks which you can count and they also give you access to a base theme and we'll also get to that a little later and a little bonus which is a style kit. So if you are a WordPress developer and you would like to keep building themes with Gutenberg, this style kit is a great help so you can integrate the GetWord plugin and all of the pre-made blocks to make the process more streamlined and easy and I'll show it to you a little later too. So there you get a ton of information about all of these blocks you can read on. Also the ratings for the free products are extremely important. And let's start with the demo and see what they offer to us. So here we have blocks and we can have a look at each of these and how they will look on an actual page with some actual content with different settings, which is an interesting option because GetWord also allows you to customize every single block. So you can change the settings, you can change the UI and the elements and how it's going to look on your page so it matches uh, the style of your page. The interesting fact is that they also provide a theme which is going to be a base for a GetWord, which is going to allow you to add these blocks and customize these blocks and insert your own content in there in a much more fluid manner. And it will also allow for the global controls all over the entire theme. So you can change, for example, fonts and font settings very, very easily. Also here are more facts and information about the actual theme and how the block pages look and how the typography options look. Also here are also the buttons to download the theme and download the plugin. Let's jump right in and let's download the free theme. And you can also do that via the WordPress repository. As for me, here is my WordPress installation and I have nothing on here except these five plugins that I've just downloaded. And I'll activate them one by one and see what they're capable of. So I'll also install the theme just so I get the whole package that the plugin promises us and I activate it. Also, as usual, they provide the plugin that helps you to install the demo content. So you get all the images and uh, all of the posts. In some instances, it's more content, but in this particular case, I don't think there will be anything else. And uh, so, so you're able to get this theme looking on your own website, just as it's advertised on, on a demo. 
So now go to post and click add new where it actually opens the Gutenberg editor and we can start adding the blocks. Let's scroll down and get to the Gatwood blocks section and it's it's a huge selection of them. By the way, Gatwood has the biggest selection of blocks, the biggest number of blocks among all of the free plugins in today's list, which is one of the reasons why it takes the first place. So we see Google Maps there, image boxes, counters, circular progress bars, contact forms. Well, you can read on and dive deeper into the list and details of all of these blogs. There's plenty of them. And I'm just looking for one particular blog, which I want to use an example in, uh, in today's comparison. So right here, it's a uh, post list. Actually, when it's, yeah, post carousel. By the way, they allow you to work with custom post types, which is a great option. And um, here, here is the first the very first look, the very first design. Okay, there is the default post. I forgot to delete it. And uh, here, here is the uh, the default design that it gives you once you add a blog on your page. Oh, come on. All right, here. So it's pretty neat. It's very minimalistic. Let's now look at the settings. So here are the settings. I can change the number of items, like how many posts you want to show in a carousel. Also, there are sorting and filtering options, which are extremely important for any widget that is meant to showcase your post. So there are many, many options. Also display settings. There is a ton of options right here. And they allow you to change the position of these arrows right here the position of these dots. Also change the spacing. Now there's this button which opens a template library. And what we see right there is the ability to filter via the category. And let's, let's say let's insert this template here and see what we can do with it. So as you see, the base theme automatically changes the fonts uh, from the template to uh, the default fonts set for the base theme. And you can change them for the entire theme and it is super convenient because you don't need to go and change the fonts so they match uh, the rest of the fonts you use on your page for every single block that you create. And again, tons of features right here. Also, I'm loving that they have the desktop, tablet and mobile options for the height and also for the alignment, which is great which is very, very close to what Elementor offers you. At least they're striving to get there. Also, all of the color options, the paddings and overlays, it's looking very, very neat so far. So, and if we look at the blocks right here, the block library, we'll see that a lot of these blocks, they're very, very close to what Elementor offers you in the free version. Like you see the anchor, the timeline, by the way, I don't think they have a timeline even. Um, circular progress bars and line progress bars, pricing boxes. There are tons and tons of elements. And this selection from the free plugin will be enough to cover the needs of a personal blog, a travel blog, or a basic business website that advertises or sells services. They also have an Instagram feed which is a great option if you're striving to integrate social media into your page because, you know, everything is interconnected these days. And uh, yeah, you have to use every single opportunity you can to bring people from one platform to the other platform. If you have a lot of followers on Instagram, it is a great opportunity to bring them to your blog, to your website, so they can do some actions there. For example, subscribe to a newsletter or fill in a contact form or whatnot. Anyway, I think we're done looking at the Gatwood theme. The one little thing which is left is to show you the style kit. And here is the style kit and it is in a GitHub and it's in GitHub repository. And you can read a little bit about it and learn what this is. And mostly it is a very neat, very nice bonus for the WordPress developers. And you can get it absolutely for free right here. And the link is available on WordPress.org on the Gatwood product page. So it was Gatwood Blocks for Gutenberg. 
which offers you almost 40 additional Gutenberg blocks or 35 pre-made block templates, a free base theme and a nice bonus in the form of a style kit for WordPress developers. And also all the great stuff like tutorials, a ton of style settings and a Facebook community. If you try it out, let us know about your experience in the comments down below and share it with all the other fellow WordPress users. What do you think about GetWit plugin for Gutenberg? And we're moving on to the next one, which is called uh, Stackable. And it takes second place because it has a big number of blocks, it has a big number of pre-made templates and a free theme as well, as well as the GetWit plugin, the previous one. But there is a catch, which I have to show you later. So the first thing you need to know about Stackable is that it is sort of like a freemium product. It has a free version, but it is limited. It's like a trial version of the premium version with fewer options, with fewer deliverables. And they have 27 building blocks, which is true. 27 is the number of blocks that comes with the free version. And they have this neat live demo, which not only allows you to have a look at all of these pre-made blogs that they have, but also edit them in this demo version, which is kind of great. Because it also allows you to peek behind the scenes and see how you can change all of these little blogs and how you can play around with the settings and what settings there actually are. And there's also fairly, a fairly big number of them. Allows you to change the spacing between the elements, which is a great, great option. Sometimes a very, very needed one. And I like how all of the options here I split in these little tabs, which helps you navigate across all of them. I'm just doing something crazy with these settings right now, but I'm loving the separator and I'm pretty sure that these, these options right here are universal for every single block and these above, these at the top, they are unique to every single block that you choose. What I offer as well is a theme, which is free, but you have to subscribe to the newsletter to get this free, free theme. And actually subscribing to a newsletter is not a big price to pay for a free theme, but I just thought it was interesting that they went with this option. And once you fill in all the fields, it lets you download the theme via the link. And here I've just activated it and I'll go and activate the stackable plugin right now. So we jump straight ahead to this greetings page right here, which tells you a little more about every single feature that stackable has which is pre-made blocks, which is, which is block templates. And they have 83 of these block templates in total. Also the list of blocks, the customization options and the tutorial video and some more features, which also include documentation community and uh, blog and support. And by the way, support is also only available in the premium version and some more things that are available in the premium version only are the extended number of block designs and block layouts. Also, some of these settings right here, it looks like a lot of settings once you look at it, but once you look closely, some of them are only available in the premium version, but let's be fair, it's not too much advertisement to buy the premium version overall in the UI. There are not too many distracting pop-ups and they're not annoying. They're just these little hints that, okay, go premium, go premium. And once we jump to the new post page right there, and we scroll down to see all of the blocks at once. It's also a fairly big selection. There are 27 of them again. And they also include the team members, Block pricing box. Also a counter right there. Dividers. Overall, the selection is not as versatile as 
the get rid list of blocks, for example, but it is still fairly decent and they compensate it with the number of templates that they provide. But we'll get to templates in just a second. For now, this is the default design that you get once you pick the post block from the list. And these are the basic options. Also right here, you have, all right, yeah, these are only premium. So these are premium only and the free ones are right here. So we can select this one and now go to the style tab and start adjusting the settings. See what we can do with this. Also, they have these little hints, which are kind of tiny tutorials and they help you get acquainted with the interface and they explain to you what every single setting means. Explained in a great visual manner. So, and as for the design library overall, they claim to have 306 block designs, but in reality, in the free version, which we're currently reviewing, it's only 83 which is still a big number. And we can browse different categories for different blocks. And also you have to scroll through every single category to find the options which are not premium, but included in the free version. And overall with a big number of blocks, templates, and, and a fairly big selection of style settings, Stackable takes the second place in our today's list. Now we're slowly moving on and we will now have a look at Gutenberg blocks by the Brainstorm Force developer. And I also forward you to see the demo straight away. And here's the list of all of the blocks. Overall, this plugin offers you 24 blocks, 20 templates and a base theme. The base theme being the Astra theme. And if you've been working with WordPress for a while, you might be familiar with this theme. And as for the 20 templates that I've mentioned before, those are not the block templates, but those are more like website templates, free starter sites. This is how they call them. And we'll now jump to the page and see. Okay, these are the website demos called starter templates. So these are the templates for the entire websites and the entire pages fully designed with pre-made blocks, pre-made sections, everything ready for you to use. Sometimes you don't necessarily need a template for the entire website or the entire page, but in case you're looking for a fully pre-made solution for the entire website, it is quite a neat option. Right now we're back to my WordPress installation and I will now install and activate the Astro theme. So we have it as a base for our plugin. And we're also greeted with this welcome page, which provides us with all the necessary information that we need to know about the plugin. They also have the knowledge base, which is kind of a replacement for video tutorials. And we'll now jump straight ahead and create a new post. And in the block library, here we have all of them right here. Quite a good selection of plugins. They feature a map, a call to action, also table of contents, a timeline, team members. But first of all, for the fair comparison, we're again interested in the post block. Okay, now let's disable the autoplay and we have the selection for the arrows. And as I've mentioned, they do not have the block templates or pre-made blocks or pre-made designs, but instead they have these starter sites and you can access them if you go to appearance, Astra options, and there are, along with all of the options for the theme, 
Here you can get more information about these starter templates and how to get them, how to import them and how to work with them further. And we are now progressing to the fourth plugin on our list and it is a plugin by GoDaddy and they offer you 31 block and also a theme. And if you go right there, this is where it can be downloaded, it can be downloaded via WordPress repository as well. As for the demo, there is no demo page right here, apparently. Which means we'll just need to go and check this out for ourselves on our WordPress installation. And once you install the theme, it already prompts you to activate the Coblox plugin. And we'll now jump straight ahead to the Gutenberg editor and see what we got in there. So there are no pre-made designs for these blocks or pre-made templates. So in Coblox, you only get this list, which is pretty versatile because you get social profiles, you get a map, you get even a widget for a GIF embed, which is pretty interesting. We also have Twitter integration, some kind of Twitter integration. A blog for a kind of an event ad, which is a pretty neat feature too. Also pricing table, shape divider. And we'll now select something that has to do with posts, which will be the post carousel. And this is what you instantly get. Being fair, comparing to the other plugins on this list, the number of settings right here, at least for the post widget, it's pretty limited. There are very few filtering options and very few style options, which is a little disappointing. And it seems like you cannot really derive from the global styles that are set when customizing the global theme, which you installed before installing the plugin. As you can see, it really picks all of the style settings from the base theme, but you cannot adjust and tweak any of the settings here because there are simply no options to customize right there. All right, for a free plugin, it was a pretty versatile selection of blocks and also a free theme. So it takes a fair fourth place and we'll proceed now to the last plugin on this list, which is Cadence. Cadence offers 12 Gutenberg blocks. And there is also in the editor demo, which is also great. So you can test out everything before you even download and install this plugin. You can already see the number of settings the block has, which is which is great because it allows you to tweak every little detail for the buttons, such as paddings, such as shadows, which not, not many of the plugins on this list had the shadows option. So this is kind of great. But unfortunately, this plugin takes the last place in our list because, because it's only 12 blocks, there are no templates and there is no base theme. It is only the blocks that you get, but they allow you to go pretty far with this number of settings right here. It is a vast, vast selection of settings and customization options right there. And you can also customize fonts since here you have no base theme, meaning you cannot change and edit fonts globally. You will have the font options right here built in at the settings tab in every single block, which sometimes is convenient, but when you have to do it for every single block, then it is gonna take a little bit more time than just editing things like fonts and accent colors globally by using a base theme. Also, these settings give you a lot of freedom to play around with the colors, with, with blend modes, with tons and tons of these customization options that really allow you to tweak very little details of your design. 
But let's now jump straight to my WordPress installation and see what Cadence offers us. And right there, there's also an option to go pro. It's also a freemium type of product. Uh, they provide the tutorials right there, the documentation, but the list of plugins is right here. And from here, it seems like they really only have 12 blocks while on the page on wordpress.org, they say it is 15. Maybe I'm missing something here, but maybe we can access those additional three plugins from some other place, but right there, there are 12 of them showing on this list. So this particular plugin is trying to compensate the very little number of the available blocks with a huge number of settings. As you can see, there is no block to showcase your post. So there's only a button, an info box, a gallery. Something that we can test out is a form and they have a lot of settings and they're really trying to squeeze as many settings as possible in a single block while keeping the number of available blocks uh, for the free version to a minimum. So what they're trying to do here is show you a little glimpse of what you can have in the premium version, which is not exactly fair because it doesn't give you the feel of a full-fledged separate free plugin for your Gutenberg editor. But it is what it is for now. We've reviewed five free plugins for Gutenberg and, and if we do a quick recap, it will be GetWid with 37 Gutenberg blocks, over 35 templates, which means pre-made designs for these blocks, also a free base theme and a style kit for WordPress developers as a nice free bonus. Second place is taken by Stackable, which is 27 blocks, 83 templates for your blogs and also a free theme which asks you to subscribe to their newsletter and basically give them your email address in order to download the base theme. Third place is taken by Ultimate Add-ons, which is 25 blocks, 20 starter sites, which is 20 full site templates and a free Astra theme. Fourth place is CoBlocks, which is 31 blocks and a free base theme and also a pretty limited number of settings, as you remember. And Cadence is 12 blocks, but this selection does not seem very functional for a standalone plugin, even though they have a huge number of settings, but the selection is not versatile enough to help power a standalone plugin. Now, if you feel like the power of a free plugin is not enough to meet your needs, there's also a premium solution, which includes tons and tons of features, which unfortunately no free plugin or no free Gutenberg package can have. And Gutenix is something that you will not call just a plugin or a theme. It feels more like a tool set or a package because it actually features a theme over 30 starter sites and a plugin with blocks and tons and tons of settings, including effects and animations and all of these designs being available for Gutenberg, Elementor and Breezy theme. And as with any premium product, the developers spend a lot of time working on it, testing it, and they also will provide regular updates and the library will be constantly growing since they'll be adding more and more templates to an already quite a big library. Now, Gutenix theme is actually free and can be found in the WordPress repository, which means you can install it and test it out and see if you like the features and want them expanded. The plugin that goes with the Gutenix package is, is called ZGuten. And this plugin as a true premium plugin has a big selection of blocks, a ton of styling options, and also responsive settings for every single blog and regular updates to the blogs library, which you'll be regularly getting absolutely for free. As for the premium features of the theme, among the most notable ones are the possibility to edit single post page templates and also the blog archive pages, also headers and footers. Also, when you look through the features of the theme, as I've already mentioned, some of these will be free and the free features that go with the free version of this theme will not be marked with the pro badge, but those that are only available in the pro version will be marked with this badge. So it gives you an understanding 
of which options you can have access to if you only download the free Gutenix theme. If you found it interesting and informative, give this video a like, it really supports the channel. And let us know in the comments what else you would like to learn about regarding Gutenberg, Elementor or WordPress in general. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.